setting up a storybook with Vite and React in June of 2024 is relatively straightforward. If you don't have a Vite and React project already, what you could do is utilize the Vite command line interface and run in command npm create Vite at the latest, the name of your project, and then give it an empty flag and a second flag to give it the React template. In my case, I'm using React with TypeScript, and this will scaffold a um, Vite with React TypeScript project for you. And then you will do the normal things. You go into that project, and then you do an NPM I, and then uh, you're ready to go. So I'm going to address these warnings, these deprecation warnings, when you install the NPM packages for Vite and React. And all of these warnings is predicated around the ES Lint and the, st the current state with ES Lint and React and Vite. So this is the latest on the issue as of June 20th of 2024. Essentially, to make a very long story short, the PR to merge the fix currently is blocked. And to dig just a tiny bit deeper, the creator of ESLint, Nick Zakas, who's, uh, you should be following uh, Nick. Um, he's, in, he's been in the JavaScript game for a long, long time. Anyhow, as you can see his comment here, um, essentially it's blocked because there's, there are no new packages available for him to, to update. So right now, the MR for this is essentially blocked. And so what can you do as a developer? Well, these warn you can just leave, ignore these warnings. Uh, these warnings would not affect your work and your app. Yes, they are annoying. If you have a lot of time on your hand, what you could do is you can dig deeper into these deprecated packages because NPM has circular dependencies, meaning that packages depend on other packages, depend on, which depends on other packages. And you can delete them if you want, but then if you do that, you will have to, you might have to relink them or simplink them or interchange the linking so that you don't get other errors. If it was me, I would just ignore this and with my spare time, I'll go for a walk and get some exercise, which we all need as software engineers. And as you can see here, there are no vulnerabilities despite the warnings. So once your Vite and React app have been scaffolded and you've installed the NPM packages for both, um, to install Storybook, you can follow the documentation for Vite and Storybook and simply run the command npx storybook at latest init. So when you run that command, Storybook will be install and then it will run Storybook for you. If we look at our app in the IDE, we can see that the Storybook command added to the package.json script and they added the dependencies for us. And then on top of that, it created um, the storybook directory with the main.ts file and the preview.ts file because once again I'm using uh, TypeScript. The start command in the scripts object, I've added this because I'm not utilizing start for anything. So I figured out uh, alias start to run my storybook. That way in the terminal, whenever I want to run storybook, I just uh, go with npm start and that'll fire up storybook for me and as you can see here everything is good to go now for the bad news in this repo I updated 
ESLint to the latest version, which is 9.5.0 as of June 20th of 2024. So now look, look what happened when I run the command npx storybook latest init. I get a juicy error. And there really is no way around uh, this. Uh, there's some hack to get you to do a, a manual install, but then you will have to create everything yourself, including the storybook directory. And this has to do with what I mentioned earlier in this video, the issue with ESLint. And so as of June 20 of 2024, we should not be updating ESLint to uh, the 9, uh, version 9, keep it at 8. And that is the best advice that I can give you as of June. I will put the links to the, um, to the merge request for ESLint and Veet and um, React so you guys can keep updated on this issue. But for now, again, please do not update your ESLint to version 9 if you want everything to run smoothly with Storybook, Veet, and React. If you like this type of video, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.